All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create consistent faces in stable diffusion. So let's say I want to create a Instagram model or an AI based uh, character. The one of the most important things is the face of the character. When you generate your prompts, usually you're gonna get different characters and every single time you hit the generate button, uh, they're gonna keep on changing the face structure and everything like that. So in this video, we're going to see how we can create a consistent characters. There's two ways. The first one is very simple. You're going to get about 60 to 70% of accuracy. And the second method, we're going to get about 80 to 90% accuracy. There are a few different ways that you can use to get a bit more accuracy than that. But uh, that's going to require you a slightly more work. All right. So let's just get started. So first, we're going to need a stable diffusion checkpoint. For this video, we're going to be using Epic Realism. You can download it from Civit AI right here. Uh, just go over here, click on the download options and then put it in your stable diffusion folder. And the next thing you're going to need is the Epic Realism helper. This is to add skin details to your character. Uh, this is really good and uh, it makes your character look more realistic as you can see over here. Uh, these little skin deformities, these are, this helps a lot. All right. So the next thing you're going to need for our second method is group. Group is going to basically face swap the character that we have created. And so for this, you're going to go to the extensions page, hit, go to the available page over here, available tab, click on this button over here and you're going to see all of these uh, plugins extensions and then it's just gonna type group over here and you're gonna hit on the install button I already have it installed so all right so let's talk about the prompt here so first thing I've mentioned over here that it's a 20 year old Pashtun girl Alexandria Kushtani now this is the most important part of the prompt 20 years old we give age to the character Pashtun girl, we give the geography to the character, so ethnicity, the characters of the face and the name, Alexandria Kushtani. Now, it's an invented name, it doesn't exist and, and this is something that you can try yourself. What I've done is I've taken Pashtun girl and given her a name, Alexandria, which doesn't exist. So, it's an invented character. Now, this thing will give you an almost consistent character, this prompt. It will give you about 50 to 60% of consistent characters. And then after that, we have written Instagram style, extreme close up because we are looking at consistent faces. Short and Kodak, Pontra film, 400 film. This is, this will give like a focus that I really like. Uh, you can change this if you want. 4K, extreme detail and focus on noise. And finally, our Laura. In the negative prompts, this is a um, lot of pro um, lot of inputs that you can see over here uh, you can add your own prompts and you can just get your own negative prompts from civit ai or figure out different uh, negative prompts and see what you like the best next we're going to select our sampling method which is dpm plus plus 2m keras we're going to set our sampling steps to 35 which gives our checkpoint more iterations or sampling method more iterations so that it can give a more refined image a better image uh, if you increase it too much it's not going to give you a better image it's actually going to perform worse but it's going to keep on working on the image even if it's uh, even if the desired outcome has been achieved so you need to play around with this see what you like the best next the width and height i'm going to leave it as is 512 by 512 batch count i'm going to select four Batch size 1, CFG scale 7, seed minus 1, which is a random seed. Control net group, we're not going to do anything, we're not going to touch this right now. Let's hit the generate button. Alright, so as you can see over here, look at the image number 1 and image number 4. These are very consistent. Image number 3 as well, if you look at it, it's sort of consistent. Now, using this method, um, as long as the image is front facing, you're going to f find images that are almost really accurate, but there are some that will be slightly off like image number two. Now, if you want to go with this method, you can generate maybe 16, 32 images and select the ones that are 
accurate and the way that you like it and you'll have your consistent images that way that's one way and i'm going to show you the second way which is basically just using face swap on the image that we really like so this is basically the extension of the first method i'm going to select the fourth image over here which i really like the facial structure the facial um, deformities over here i like the nose and everything so i i think i think this would work for my character so i'm going to pick this image i'm going to download this put it in my documents and head over to roop and i'm going to drag the image over here and i'm going to hit click the enable button on roop make sure restore faces on code former we're now going to be using an upscaler and no script all right so all right so next we're going to remove this prompt over here and i'm going to just write something very basic like a go in a park really like a 20 year old in the park all right i'm uh, writing 20 year old because i want the anatomy of a 20 year old all right so let's hit generate i'm going to select batch count one first because i just want to see one image really quickly let's see how it works okay now group is going to start working all right so as you can see it's pretty consistent over here but there's a few issues over here like you can see the skin color and everything it's not the way that the, our original image was for that reason you could just write the original prompt a little bit like Pashtun and uh, let's change the batch count to 4 and let's hit generate let's see All right, so as you can see, with the help of geography, the skin color has maintained consistency and the face is also pretty consistent. So we are almost about 80% there. Uh, and this is the outcome that I really like, but still you're going to remove some images from here once you get the outcome because some of them won't really be as accurate. But you can decide which method you like the best, the first one or the second one. You can go with it. So this is the easiest way of getting consistent characters without training. In the upcoming video, I'll go over the training method, how you can actually train your own LoRa so that you can have a consistent character that is a bit more accurate than this. You can never really get 100% accuracy as of now, but you can almost get there that it's very difficult for a viewer to recognize that it's an AI generated image. All right, so thanks for watching guys. Hope you liked the video.